We get questions all the time on the radio show, the YouTube channel, and all sorts of social media about the storms and the weather in North Texas, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. What about the tornadoes? What about the hail? Let's talk about hail first. First of all, hail is typically in the springtime. It can happen pretty much whenever, but it's typically in the springtime and it's very sporadic, similar to tornadoes in some ways. But we say around Dallas Fort Worth area that you're going to get a new roof because of hail every seven to 10 years. And it's pretty typical that that's going to be the case. It can cause damage to cars and roofs and gutters and things. Typically, people are able to find shelter and be pretty safe pretty quickly. And the weather forecasters do a pretty darn good job of letting us know when it's coming. We can't always spot exactly where it will go, but we have a pretty good idea of when it's coming. You can keep yourself and your family and your people safe. Property, we deal with that through insurance. Typically we're prepared, well, we're really always prepared. We're required to be prepared in many ways. And you're looking at paying an insurance deductible every seven to 10 years, instead of putting on an entirely brand new roof or gutters or fence every 20 to 30 years. It ends up being about the same money, so it's not an increased cost. It's a heightened concern. It's a heightened awareness, but it's absolutely manageable and certainly no reason that you would avoid living in the area or want to leave the area. On to tornadoes. Tornadoes are a much bigger deal, equally as sporadic and highly unlikely to hit any one specific location. They pop up somewhat sporadically. They move around somewhat sporadically. And of course, they're not widespread like a hurricane or a thunderstorm. It is one literal twister moving around, but not something that you would think that's going to happen to us regularly. I've lived in North Texas for well over 20 years and have never been personally directly impacted by a tornado ever. Twice, they've been in the area of my home. Let me give you an example of what somebody would do to be prepared in the event that they wanted to be completely prepared for the worst, a direct hit by a tornado. I am now standing in a closet in a home that's being built right now. And the closet is a normal closet in their home, but they're also doubling it as a storm reinforced closet. So you see the double framing, extra solid wood plus steel reinforced walls. And then you might or might not be able to see the bracing, metal bracing, bracing the framing to the steel and the steel to the bracing and the bracing to the concrete and the concrete to the rebar. So you've got an unbelievably quadruple strong interior closet with no exterior walls, no windows, basic ventilation for safety and a little bit for comfort. And then there'll be a heavy duty door that will latch to the inside and open to the inside in the event that in the worst case scenario, there were debris outside the home and you weren't able to push that door out, which is why you always want that door to open in. In the North Texas area, some of the older storm shelters and even some of the new you'll see subsurface they're built underground, like in, you know, you've probably seen in some of the older movies, or if you're from the Midwest type of deal, those are very, very common. You do still see those built. Oftentimes it's the same exact thing as a septic tank. It's an unbelievably thick reinforced concrete box under the ground with a vent with a steel door. There's others that you'll see like a triple reinforced steel phone booth almost around one, and they'll be bolted to a slab in a garage or something where three or four or five people can step in, slide it closed, latch it shut. And remember, Tornadoes in any one spot typically don't last more than minutes. So maybe three, four, five, ten 10 minutes at the most, and they move on. So you're not talking about a place you're going to shelter from a hurricane for two days, or you're going to shelter for hours and hours and hours. You're going to avoid literal winds for a matter of minutes. It doesn't have to be horribly comfortable. Now, big picture, just to back away from the specifics is these things are rare. And even when they occur, they occur to, they impact very small parts of the community. Again, they can be horrible. They can damage property. They can cause loss of life. So it's wise to ask the question. It's wise to be prepared, but it's certainly not something that would cause someone to not want to live in our region. We will rarely ever have someone say, I'm leaving because of the hail. I'm leaving because of the tornadoes. I've actually never had that happen, but I don't want to undervalue the intensity that these things can cause. Certainly the tornadoes, but it's not a reason to not live someplace. It is a reason to ask the question, get good answers, and be prepared. Someone that does not have a shelter like this, the protocol is find an interior room. Usually it's a half bathroom or a closet that has no exterior wall access and no windows. Close the door, hunker down, listen to the radio, bring your phone until the weather has passed. We've done that several times in our time living here for two plus decades. Never had any horrible negative impacts. We've had friends, neighbors, and clients that have had some property damage but they themselves, their family has always been safe going to that interior room. This is a little bit of overkill, but if you're like me, you like a little bit of that to take care of your family. If we can help you with this or anything else about moving to or within the Dallas-Fort Worth area, 
let us know. Our contact information is below. We're a real estate brokerage and team right here in Dallas, Fort Worth. I'll talk to you on the next one.